Hey everyone, uh, this is Devin Adams. I am a Fortinet instructor here in Tempe, Arizona. I work for Dynamic Worldwide Training and I do these uh, videos just uh, to show my, my students, the people who take my class, a little bit more about setting up their own lab environment. So um, I've been rolling with this NSC5 lab demos and I think this is like my my 18th video this weekend so sorry if these are a little a little loopy guys but I have to fight against the clock not really but uh, my Forded manager and all these VMs expire after 15 days and uh, I'm up to teach the new version of the NSC 5 which is the 60 I got certified in 52 that's how that's how old I am anyway it's not really it was just a few years ago but um, I'm also taking this opportunity to learn about the new features myself. So anyways, um, in this video, this one's going to be a real trivial one, but it's still something that I get asked about a lot and it bugs the crap out of me. So, and that is adding our geography location to our FortiGates that we're managing. So there are certain views in the Forti Manager, okay, that rely on your GPS location of your FortiGates in order to display correctly and uh, yeah so and a lot of times people go hey I look at my threat map and nothing's there what's going on okay so um, I know that sounds kinda silly I said I wasn't gonna record anything more this weekend but you know I'm just like whatever anyways so let's take a look at what I'm talking about here so we have our four forty gates on our previous video that we've added to our environment okay so um, there are certain views, especially in the newer versions. I know that 6.2 has, has a dedicated fabric view. Uh, 6.0 does not. But uh, let's go over to our Forti view. Okay. And we have something that's known as a threat map. Now, the threat map shows you a real time picture of all your Forti gates and the threats that are bombarding it at the time in like the last few minute intervals. I know it sounds a little bit silly, but it's still, for lack of a better word, fun to have a visual representation of, of uh, <laughs> the threats getting zapped. I don't know. So uh, obviously I have nothing going right now to simulate threats. Uh, maybe I will here in a moment. But um, if you notice, I only have one of my FortiGates on here and not the other three. So um, and if you just first click into this threat map, there's nothing here. And people are usually like, well, OK, I mean, I see the terminus here. Um, but I don't really see anything else what's going on. So, um, yeah, and that's because our FortiGates do not show up until we add that device location in there. And I'm going to show you guys an easy way to do that. Uh, by the way, if you just click this, you can see that it's the branch office that I have in our Make Believe location in Austin, Texas. So, all right, let's go ahead and go to our device manager and let's finish putting in our information here. So, uh, for example, in my local FortiGates, I'm going to click it and hit edit. All right, right here is device location. Okay. And I'm going to say something like, uh, I don't know, my make-believe company here, IT Ninja support. All right, I am in, uh, let's see, where am I in? Oh yeah, the USA. I'm in Arizona. Tempe, and the contact's going to be Devon. Okay? So, but our geographic coordinates, well, we usually don't know our latitude and longitude unless you guys are hardcore, but if you go to show map, and that is a new feature, by the way, that I think is just awesome, you can actually zoom out here, and you can pluck that guy as close as you can, and then zoom in, oh, until you get a little bit closer. Come on. Oh, there's Tucson. A little bit closer. Okay. There's Phoenix. I mean, and you can get pretty pretty specific here. Like I'm in uh where are we? There's the ten. If you guys ever want to stop by and say hi to us at Dynamic Worldwide. Let's see here. Let's zoom out just a little bit more. Where is that 60? Oh, that's the 53. Do I even know where I live? 
I'm too far south. There we go. Tempe is where I want to be. All right, where's my pin? It's stuff like this that I wish I was a YouTuber and I would just like pause the video instead of you guys watching me picking up the red dot and trying to land it into the right spot. But hey, you know what? This is the kind of stuff that we have to deal with in in real life, right? In production. <laughs> the tedious things, like dragging this little zit. I won't be this specific with the other ones, obviously, but... And we are actually located, I believe, right here. Nope, right here is our actual office. So there's Lakeshore Drive. And we are literally right there. So you can be that that specific of, of where you're at. And then it has the right locations and we hit OK. And now when we go back to our threat map, all right, there it is. There should be two Forti gates. What? So I'm going to hit pause right there and I'm going to do the rest of it, okay? And I'll be right back. But you guys definitely do not need to watch that painful experience again. Just a second. All right, I went ahead and added in the rest of the Forti gates, and as you guys can see, now my four Forti gates are represented here on this on this globe. So um, I know that seems a little bit silly, but it's still kind of, for lack of a better word, fun to see it flow through and see all the different uh, threats that are being blocked, and you'll you'll actually see that in real time, which is which is just for lack of a better word, fun. Uh, hopefully, as we explore other features in the Forti Manager. Uh, and also the Ford Analyzer, these become more relevant too. So I'm kind of excited for that. But anyways, guys, so uh, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. And uh, my goal, I, I decided once again to just record a little bit more. I realized I really want to get the VPN centralized management recorded today. So that's what should be coming up. Um, I'm going to do a little house cleaning here. In our, in our topology, though, before I do that. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. So, 